A life-saving health watch this morning, examining yourself for skin cancer. This is the most common form of cancer affecting more than 2 million Americans every year. But our Dr. Jennifer Ashton is here this morning to tell us that it's also the easiest to treat if you discover it early. Absolutely, Good morning, Doc. Maggie. Good morning. Especially in the summer, a lot of people are wondering about this. If you have yep. a mole or a freckle, how do you know if it could be cancerous? So very easy acronym. We go by the A, B, C, and D. So A is for asymmetry, okay? If you draw a line through the center of a mole, it should look the same on both sides. So that's an example of something that is asymmetric, should be checked. B is for border, so when you look at the outer rim of this mole, it should be smooth, it should be uniform, not scalloped or frayed edges, and that's an example of something that the border looks irregular, should be examined. C is for color, again, within the mole, all the colors should look uniform. It shouldn't be light on one side, dark on the other. Mm. Again, this looks irregular in terms of color. And D is diameter. Most times, moles should be smaller than the eraser of a pencil. So if something is getting larger or if you notice something that's bigger than that, have a dermatologist examine it. If a molar freckle starts to change, will it be painful? Will it be obvious? Well, change is actually the fifth one. It's for E or evolving. Not always. Pain does, is not always a sign or symptom of skin cancer. So again, don't think, oh, it doesn't hurt me, I can leave it alone. Anything that looks suspicious, you want to have it examined. How should you check yourself? Well, actually, the best way, Maggie, is to do this with someone else. So with your spouse, with a close friend or relative, you can do some parts of it yourself, but you actually want to look at your entire body head to toe. So that starts with your scalp. Mm. Most people neglect that. So you want to have someone take a hair dryer, blow your hair away from your scalp, and really look closely. And then even using Is it a common to find something in your scalp? You absolutely can. Mm. And then using a mirror, you want to look at all sides of your body. So if you can't see it well with a mirror yourself, have someone else look at it. Look at all of the surfaces, even palms, soles, in between your fingers and toes. Very important. How frequently would you do this? Well, actually, the dermatologists recommend that you examine your own skin once a month. You should have an official physician skin exam once a year, at minimum, more often if they tell you it's necessary. As always, we want to be preventive. So what is the best way to prevent skin exactly. cancer Exactly, and this place? bears repeating again and again. First of all, you really want to avoid peak sun exposure, which occurs between the hours of 10 a.m. and 4 p.m. Usually, you want to avoid getting a blistering sunburn or even a painful sunburn. Use that SPF. Greater than 15 is really important. And reapply the sunscreen regularly as often as every two hours. Great stuff as always. Very important. Jen, thank you so you much. Bet, Max. A lot happens early on The Early Show. Weekday mornings on CBS.